Hello and welcome back to another episode. In today's video, I wish everyone a happy, happy, happy Valentine. Guys, this is the ultimate delicious sweet treat for all the lovers out there. No matter who you love or what, I'm sure you're gonna love these delicious rasmalai fudge bites. Guys, look at the color. I wish you could smell it. It smells like rose water, cardamom, caramel, saffron, rose, and it's super, super, super beautiful. Look at the colors. I mean, whoever gets these treats, they really know you love them. Let's go and make something beautiful and delicious for someone beautiful. Guys, and also this recipe is super, super fast to make and super easy. And there is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't make them at home. So try them out and let me know in the comment section what you think about this delicious recipe. For this recipe, you are going to need just a few delicious ingredients. First one is almond flour. Then we're also going to need some milk powder, sugar, and water. We're also going to need white chocolate and ghee and i have a little special extra ingredient which is vanilla tonka bean sugar it's absolutely optional we also have cardamom powder corn flour buds rose buds or just the leaves we don't we need some pistachios vanilla extract and then whole pistachios saffron melted in ice water and that's it like always i'm gonna leave the entire recipe in the description box down below first you're gonna put your pot on a stove and put it on medium heat then you're gonna add your water into the pot and the sugar let it simmer for a while meanwhile you're gonna take your milk powder and the melted ghee shouldn't be hot just melted Mix it nicely together till you have a yellow powder. Once your syrup starts to boil, you're gonna add the tonka bean sugar and the vanilla extract into the syrup. Mix everything well together. Then add your cardamom. Mix it again. And then just start adding our yellow ghee milk powder into the syrup. Make sure you don't leave this alone. It's very important to now be careful because we don't want to burn it. Just start mixing everything nicely together till it becomes uh, kind of like a milky, creamy liquid. It should look like this. Just keep mixing and mixing and mixing till everything is nicely combined. Once it looks like this, creamy and beautiful, add your chopped chocolate and then give it a nice stir and let the magic happen. This ingredient is very, very important because it gives the entire fudge this extra fudginess. You will see. It just tastes amazing. Next, it's time to add the saffron and a little more of the cardamom. Give everything a nice mix and see how all these different delicious fragrances, smells, aromas just come together and melt and just become lovers. Because we are Persians, we can never get enough of saffron. So I added a little bit more. Also, you can see that it changes the color and I like this color much more. You do you and you add extra saffron or leave it, but I would hardly, hardly recommend to do it. Look at this beautiful color. Next, it's time to add your pistachios. Leave them like this. You're going to see the magic afterwards because it's just beautiful when you cut the fudge and you have those big pieces. And now it's time to add our almond flour. And here I give you a specific amount of almond flour, 
which will actually be fine. But if for any reason anything is not going your way and it looks just a little bit too too liquidy, just add a little bit more of the almond flour and you will get a perfect fudge. Now give everything a nice mix and let it just come together, immerse. Like we need to let it heat up and all the fragrances, all the tastes, all the aromas play now together and it melts a little bit on the stove. So just keep stirring and wait till everything reveals the magic. And this is how it should look like. Once your fudge look like this, this is where everything is perfectly on point. It's a little bit like making halva. You can put it now on a little bit higher heat so that it gets a little faster if you think this all takes too long, but don't make it too warm. And this is it. Like it literally is like making halva. Very, very nice. Oh, and the kitchen smells so nicely. Almonds, cardamom, saffron. Very, very beautiful. And now we have here... Um, an oven dish and parchment paper so that nothing can stick. And then we just put our delicious fudge into this form and start pressing it down. It's a little hot, so we can't touch it, but we need to immediately give everything a nice form. And you're going to shape it the way you like it. You could also take like a hard form or whatever you like. Move it on to but I like it this way. And then we just press everything together and make like a almost kind of like similar shape so that everything is nice and even because we want our flowers and nuts later look beautiful. So I show you here different ways or what kind of utensils you can use. This was not that cool. It would just stick to it. So I kind of like decided to change. I didn't like that. So I think this was still the best. It would not be perfectly even, but it doesn't matter because later on I have a nice trick with extra parchment paper, which made life much easier. So this is how I started. I supposed to actually start way earlier with the other method, but learning by doing, guys. So that's why I make these videos so that you can learn also from my mistakes. So the best thing to do is to take parchment paper. But now we are giving it a nice shape and then move on. Next step is to decorate our delicious fudge finally. So I'm taking here my lovely, lovely, beautiful pistachios. I just love this color. It's just, just so beautiful. And then we're going to add our rose buds. I just took those beautiful pink leaves. And then we're also going to add our corn flowers. I mean, look at this beautiful blue. It just looks majestic. Wow. I really, really love it. And now I have a nice hack for you guys, which I told you before. We're going to take parchment paper to make everything stick nicely together. I just love it. It makes it super, super even, super fast. And yeah, it just looks beautiful. Look at this. Done. Done. Amazing. Now you can just work on the edges, make everything nicely straight on all the ankles and then just put it into your fridge for about an hour or just leave it on the kitchen counter overnight. It will be fine. Once your fudge is cold, it looks like this. And then you're just going to cut the edges and do not throw them away. They taste delicious. Mine is still a little bit soft, but it doesn't matter. I really, really want to try it now. So I'm cutting the edges. It's also not bad to cut the fudge while it's a little bit soft, so you don't break it. Later on, it becomes a little harder and then it wouldn't get into this nice shape so easily. So we cut all the edges and then we're gonna start cutting out our edges. For that, we're gonna just kinda of eyeball how big we want each of the square. And then in this case, I just have four big cuts. So it's a little bit sticky, be careful. You don't wanna tear 
out all the decoration so just be gentle and take your time it's going to be worth it because at the end it should look nicely it's a nice treat and it should look beautiful so be patient once you're done it's time to add the ultimate last magic to your rasmalai fudge and this is gold dust absolutely optional but i love how it looks look at this beauty oh my gosh i love it it's so 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 beautiful i'm gonna put a link down below so that you also can order this gold dust and now look at your beautiful beautiful valentine's treat this is so amazing i mean imagine you come home and someone gifts you this and say i made this for you because i love you that's amazing guys hello today we made this delicious rasmalai fudge guys i can't wait to try this one mom super super beautiful mom loves the smell uh -huh. and she thinks it just looks so beautiful uh -huh. So mom is asking, what are we actually doing today? So today, this is our Valentine's kind of sweet and arrangement. So mom, in Adam Valentine, Valentine, I'm Adam. Ye rose bare Adam ay asher. Okay. Ya be Adam ay ki khayi dost dari ye chiz dorost mikani. I just explained, mom, that here in the Western world, for example, in Germany, we live here. This is kind of like a tradition uh, where you just make something for the people that you love. You buy them roses, maybe you give them some chocolate. And we made today this delicious rasmalai fudge full of ras um, saffron, full of um, delicious, delicious roses and flowers and pistachios. So very, very cute little gift. Oh, merci, merci. Right out. Again, Let's try it. it. Mm. It has, it's like a dream of thousand and one wow. night. It smells like saffron and rose and flowers and so gooey and delicious. Like you can't explain. It tastes a little bit like marzipan, but also much more tender. So very, very, very delicious, guys. Try this recipe out for yourself and all your loved ones. It's amazing. برای همتون والنتین خوبی رو آرزو میکنم و آرزو میکنم از این شیرینی حتما درست کنیم بخوری هپی والنتاین گایز هپی والنتاین ماما روز دارم منم همینطور دست درد نکنه خواهش میکنم thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to like and to share bye 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 ریخت Thank you so much for watching the video till the end. Do not forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the little bell icon so that you do not miss any upcoming episode. See you soon! Isn't it wonderful that we all have more than enough to eat every day? Yes, it is. And it's a beautiful feeling. But unfortunately, this is not the truth for all the children on this planet. So with Share a Meal, you can make a difference and share a meal with a kid on this planet. 
I'm gonna leave the link down below. You're just gonna click it and then you're gonna share a meal with share a meal. Thank you so much.